right, guys. Store number one. Seeing what we find. Oh my God, bro! Again, again. Brody Lee. I don't see any other figures. Beautiful, man. How are we getting this lucky? Again with it, man. Two Brody Lees. I don't see any of the rest of the wave, though. We got Santana, Ortiz, Sheeta, tons of Goldberg, and JF. We got China. Of course, I think this is like untouched, man. These ultimates are untouched. You got the battle pack. That Rhea battle pack is just really rotten here because it looks terrible. No Chase Jake, Triple H, Hurricane Ken, Bob Orton. If you haven't found this wave before, I mean, good lord, it's out there, man. But Brody Lee, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a steal. Crazy, bro. Insane find. But where's the rest of the set? Where is the rest of the set? That's insane, though. I don't see much else, but holy hell, we just found Brody Lee. I mean, that's a win right there. Freaking Brody Lee, man. Hell yeah. Here are some Marvel Legends. We've got Doctor Strange, Hammerhead, Goblin. I don't know if I want to put the trigger on. What is this? We got J. Jonah James. Are you kidding me? Liv Morgan figure swap, man. Unbearable, bro. Look at this trash, bro. Absolute trash. I'm sick of this happening at the store. That's pathetic. We are on the way to the aisle. I do not know what they're going to have. Yesterday they had Brody Lee. Let's find out what we got today. Same success. Same success. Holy crap. We got Anna J, baby. Anna J in the house. Not the chase, though, unfortunately. We do have Evil Uno as well. Very beautiful. It's great to see these at retail, man. Unbelievable stuff we've been seeing. Like, this Target has just been on fire, though. No Santa... Or, they have Santana and Ortiz. Same, same Ultimate Editions. Tons of those. Same basics. I think everything's the same outside of the AEW figures, but I have a theory now... Now that we have the Anna J and the Evil Uno out here, I have a total theory about what's going on. We'll have to see if that's the case, but we got Sheeta. We got the basics. Everything's the same, though. China's, Legends, Goldberg. It looks like the MJF's missing. So. But we do have Anna J and Evil Uno, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take a stroll over here. I forgot to do this the last time I was here, so I want to make sure that we get everything in here. Got some Marvel Legends. Got Ben Riley. He should have the Mark I. Yeah, I got Spider-Man. A couple of those, pretty beautiful. The rest of the Marvel Legends. Not really any good waves out right now, honestly. You know, no good waves out for me right now, besides the retros. But I, I'm still slowly but surely getting those. I guess I'm just gonna wait on Shocker or or Hobgoblin. Wait for those to hit clearance or something. But here's the rest of the stuff. I mean, I don't really know what else we're looking for here i'm just kind of you know showing everything off as we as we go here i think this this target actually does a really good job of cleaning stuff up too like they don't like if you try to hide something man they're gonna find it i've learned that as well i, I tested it just the other day or like a couple weeks ago and they're pretty uh they're pretty on top of stuff here so that's pretty cool to see but yeah i went ahead and came early so the store is practically empty you got peacemaker right here John Cena. That head sculpt's dreadful, by the way. Terrible head sculpt. Dreadful head sculpt on that thing, but... I'm gonna go back over here, make sure I don't lose my Anna J or my Evil Una for sure, but... I'm gonna probably grab these, we'll see, but you guys will find out at the end of the toy hunt, I guess, but not much else. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. You guys probably already saw the clips right there of our toy hunt, so I didn't do a before little little capture, whatever the deal is, so I figured I'd just plug the clips in and then come back right afterwards, show off what we got on the toy hunt, discuss everything that's going on and everything like that. Today is Friday Night Smackdown. If you guys are seeing this, this is the night of Smackdown, so definitely look for me tonight. I should have this, this toy hunt up before the show, guys, so if you're checking this out, definitely stay tuned. I will be sitting row one at Friday Night Smackdown tonight night hopefully it's really awesome can't wait for the show uh just just hope that you know i, I, I just want to see brock in person i want to see ronda in person i want to see roman and i want to see ricochet i think that's my four guys that i want to see but hopefully the show will be good that's really all i'm asking for i will be vlogging the experience and everything like that i don't know how many clips i'll do you know I, I, like i want to enjoy the show i want to be present there for it but i also want to you know capture some moments for you guys and create a vlog out of it so you guys can look forward to that tomorrow more than likely but i'm gonna head up there eat some 
lunch and then I will be going to the arena. I hope to get to the arena pretty early. That way I can, you know, scope it out, get some clips in, eat something possibly, check out the merch stand, all those different things, man. So hopefully I'll meet a couple of you guys. I don't, I don't know, you know, whoever knows. I don't know if I'll meet anybody, but it'd be really cool to. Anyways, man, how about that freaking toy hunt? Holy hell. We found not only Unmatched Series 3 Brody Lee, but we also found Anna J and Evil Uno. And we found some more Marvel Legends, man. So I thought it was pretty successful. I'm really excited to show you guys what I picked up. So let's go ahead and get into it. And I've discovered, I took a tip out of the old Kyle Peterson playbook and I have been scouting the hell out of my target, man. And I have been super successful using these, these techniques, man. So if you really want to find stuff at retail, you do have to put the work in, man. It's just like everything else in life. If you want to accomplish something, if you want to obtain something and you want to, you know, get that in your hands, you're going to have to put the work in. You're going to have to do the leg work, do the ground work, and you're going to have to put boots on the ground, get out there and go and go find these things, man. It's the only way. So I know some areas are terrible and my area until 2022 is usually pretty dry, man. Like we'll find stuff randomly, but I would say for the most part, man, 2022, my target has been insane and I predicted it correctly. So the first day I went, I'll have to, I'll get into it as we show off the things here, but let's just shut the hell up, man. Let's go ahead and dive into what we grabbed, man. So the first thing that we grabbed was of course, Mr. Brody Lee. I don't think you could really, if you find Mr. Brody Lee at retail, I feel like you need to grab it. I mean, it's, it's just a beautiful figure, first of all. And uh, it, it's just, it's just amazing, man. I really love the figure. I think it looks fantastic. RIP to the legend. I think it's a beautiful looking figure. It feels really quality. You can tell, I don't know. I, 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 you know, they call me a conspiracy theorist, but I swear to God, they put more effort and more work into this figure than the rest of the figures, or at least they spent more time or so. I don't know. I don't know the exact details on it, man, but they definitely put more time into this. I swear they did. Anyways, we did pick up Mr. Brody Lee. Had to, you know, I could not leave that behind. And we actually captured another one. We went ahead and grabbed the other one. I've already put it in a defender case. So we do have this one in the defender case. I'm still debating on opening this one to have another one loose for the head sculpt and possibly a custom, you know, I'm, I'm thinking hardcore about that. I'm not entirely sure. You guys do know that we do have the two-pack. We do have that ringside exclusive two-pack coming soon, so I'm sure that I'll review that on the channel for you guys, so I'll have a loose one there. And I did pre-order an extra one for Mock, so I'm going to have a lot of probably that Series 3 Brody Lee, but I think it's great for customs and fix-ups and things of that nature that we get in the future, but I did grab a second one for, uh, you know, the Defender case there. And I w went ahead also and picked up Anna J, and I did grab the Evil Uno. I, I really, I don't know if I want to open one of these Anna J's and put the secondary head sculpt on there. Also, it came with great interchangeable hand options. I was hoping to find the Anna J Chase, but I also picked up Evil Uno for those exact reasons, man. The fix-ups, the customs, the different things like that. Maybe we can put these guys in surgery, customize them a little bit, fix them up some. And the last pickup that we had is going to be the Ben Riley Spider-Man Marvel Legends figure. You guys saw that. I actually grabbed this on the toy hunt that I grabbed the two Brody Lees, but I didn't show off the Marvel Legends, so I forgot about that. But we did go over there the second day that we went to that same target. That was back-to-back -back days, by the way. So, the days that we found the Brody Lee, the next day was the Anna J and Evil Uno. So, this is what my, my head's telling me here. I can't wait to open this up. I wanted to get one for mock. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one mock or if I'm going to open it. It's really bothering me. I'm still on the fence about that. But, what I'm guessing is, is they have a specific number of figures on the peg. So, right now, I think there's a couple Sheetas, Santana and Ortiz from Unmatched Series 2. Well, the other day, I think there was like an MJ F and a Wardlow. And then remember, I got the target tingle. So I went and I checked and we found the chase stings. Well, I took what? The two chase stings or I took the one chase sting and the regular sting. After that, I saw the Unmatched Series 3 was hitting for people. So I came back and there was only two Brody Lees on the pegs. So what I'm guessing is they had that chase sting and that regular sting in the back that entire time Series 2 was out, but they have a limited space for figures or number of figures on the pegs. So I'm guessing that the Series 3, when they put out the two Brody Lees, I was like, bro, there's no way that they didn't put the whole set out. I know they're going to probably fill in these two Brody Lees with two random figures from series th number three. So sure enough, what happened, Brad? I go back and Anna J and Evil Uno are there. Two figures that, that I, so I bought the two Brody Lees. That's two missing. So they got to fill those two in. What do they fill them in with? Two more on that series three. Anna J and Evil Uno. So now that I took the Anna J and Evil Uno, I'm guessing they're probably going to fill it in with either another Anna J, 
could be the chase, another evil Uno possibly, or the rest of Unmatched Series 3. So it could be a John Silver, it could be a Stu Grayson. If I had to guess, it'd probably be Stu Grayson and John Silver, but I would really, I, I don't know if they got two sets in, I don't know if they got three sets in, I would love, I would lose my damn mind if I found a Chase, Anna J, or Brody Lee, especially the Brody Lee, I'd, I, I'd probably collapse on sight of that figure in the store. But that's what I'm, that's what I'm picking up, so I'm probably gonna go back tomorrow and we'll see what's there, I guess we'll have to see, but you guys also saw that terrible figure swap, so I was at Walmart, they still had 100 Elite 85, I didn't even plug in the clip, but how about that damn Marvel Legends fig swap with Liv Morgan? That is ridiculous, man. Whoever is doing that, it is the same person. I have no doubt about it. It's the same person. They have scammed that Walmart out of hundreds and hundreds of dollars already because I have been seeing figure swaps there for a few years now. Has to be the same person. Marvel Legends, WWE figures, and DC. Multi or, uh, the McFarlane ones, I think it is. They have been doing that for years, and it's every single line. They do not hold anything back, man. They take a figure that, like, it was a Liv Morgan. I guarantee you, they bought an Elite 85 Liv Morgan. They bought a J. Jonah Jameson, and then they took the Liv Morgan, put it in the J. Jonah Jameson, and returned it, and got half their money back, or they probably swapped a WWE figure as well. Total Bush League pisses me off. I didn't look through all the Liv Morgans, so I'm, I bet they probably fig swapped that as well. Absolute garbage. They're just playing with fire, man. Like, you keep doing that over and over and over again, man. I, that's, that's very stupid. Nonetheless, bro, very excited, very happy with everything we got here. The two Brody Lee the Anna J and the Evil Uno. The Mott collection is growing so much that I really, I, 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 I need, I need help. I need more room, bro. I absolutely need more room, but we're on the constant chase, man. We're on the constant grind. I do think I'm about to purchase another chase figure, so that'll be interesting, man. Again, 2022 year of the, the chasing after that, man. Also, if you guys missed it, on Dynamite, jo Jeff Hardy, if you guys missed my reaction to that, I actually tweeted out shortly before that show started that if Jeff Hardy showed up on AEW Dynamite tonight, I would be uploading an MDT Live by next weekend, so next weekend I should have MDT Live up for you guys, so that'll be very interesting to see. Hopefully I can get all the rest of the details finished this week, but you know, I did uh, I did tweet that out, so I do have to hold up my end of the bargain there. I guess at the latest it would be Monday, but I, I'm still I'm still shooting for Saturday or Sunday for that pick that episode to go out, man. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up this Toy Hunt, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you checked your area for stuff, bro, and uh, let me know what you guys have found, but I'm getting out here man see you guys at smackdown and peace out don't cross the line like that guy that swapped the damn Liv morgan in the j jonah jameson marvel legends box you cross the line i've been